Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve high CPU, RAM, or disk usage on your Windows 10 device. So this is an error that many of us will come across at one point or another. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it with a few different quick methods that I would definitely suggest checking out. So the first one I would recommend doing would be to actually open up the start menu. And you want to type in msconfig. This match should say system configuration right above desktop app. I'm going to just left click on that one time. And now I'm going to left click on the startup tab. And then you want to left click on this open task manager button. Now all these items in here are generally startup applications that can be disabled when your computer is booting up. So it's not actually going to remove the program if we disable any items in here. But it will hopefully be able to speed up your boot a little bit as well as turning some programs that run in the background of your computer off. For example, if you have a lot of printer software or other applications that are listed in here, they really don't need them to turn on every time your computer turns on. For example, if you disabled the print service in here, or, or let's say there was a printer help software that was listed in here, if you disabled it, it wouldn't disable your printer. All you have to do is open up your star menu and type in the, whatever you were looking for, and it would still work normally and probably just as good as it did before. I would only recommend probably keeping antivirus or anti-malware software enabled just to keep your computer safe. But just about any items in here can be disabled simply by left clicking on the item here and then left clicking on disable. And then you will have to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. But it's just a pretty nice little trick to know about and on Windows 10 you can also see the startup impact on the right column here which is definitely nice to see. Something else I'd recommend doing would be going over to the process tab on the left here and looking over and seeing different programs that are running in the background. Now if it says something on the bottom that says run with administrator permissions or see all processes, I'd recommend expanding it so you can see everything that's running. And you can tell by the icon here you should be able to recognize a lot of the different applications listed in here. And you can see how much CPU, memory and whatnot everything's taking up. And you can sort in ascending order by just left clicking on the top tab and you can see what's taking up the most and consequently what's taking up the least again by just left clicking on it again. So definitely nice little feature to know about and it's definitely useful in seeing what's taking up a good amount of computing power. Now something else I would also consider, again all this is completely optional, but it would be to head over to the star menu and type in services here. Best manage should say services. If you left click on that, And then if you went down to Superfetch, and this is not a critical Windows service, even though some people will argue for both sides of it, I personally don't think it's that big of a deal, and you're always welcome to re-enable it. So as what I just said, I'm going to disable it. So I'm just going to double click on it and set startup type to disabled, disabled or manual. I'd recommend personally just disabling it, and then left clicking on apply and OK, and then restarting your computer as well. And then I would also recommend heading over to Start Menu and going underneath Programs and then selecting Add or Remove Programs right above System Settings. So if you left click on that, you'll see a list of programs on the right here and you can uninstall different applications that may be installed on your computer and hopefully that could increase your performance a little bit as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.